We know and recognise the challenges our children, our families face in Coventry around accessing purposeful and meaningful holiday activities. And that's exactly what the HALF programme offers. We were really pleased and enthused by the number of special schools that took up the opportunity to support our families by offering such a wide, varied, fun programme. We ran the HALF programme last year. Um, when I heard about it, I thought it was a great opportunity um, to be able to give our parents a break um, in the summer holidays and just being able to do physical activities like, like swimming. We've got our own pool, so be able to take them swimming every day being able to give them the best activities, the best trips out before we've done, um, you know, trips to a local park, we've done trips to maybe bowling. This time we got to go to Cabra's World, we got to go to Lego Discovery. So it not only gave the parents the opportunity to see how their children react with the support that they got from us being there, but also it's the children got to work and learn in a safe environment with people again that they know parents have said when we bring our children to the HALF programme the children feel safe and, and we know we're, we're, we're bringing them to a place of safety so they can thrive and the HALF programme again is not just about the food and the activity it's about the development and the confidence and the self-assuredness that young people uh, need to thrive in, in our society. We have scheme, honestly, is a lifesaver. Familiar environment, familiar staff. She's in touch with learning through play and mixing up with her schoolmates. Um, and that gives me my break that I need to take care of my other children, do my online courses, do what I have to do. The special needs children especially needs that little bit of extra support and focus. And with this HALF programme, I think it's amazing that it's there, it's available, and they help children you know, with these kind of services, like today they've been doing horse riding. And if it wasn't for horse riding today, the opera was there, they would have been sitting at home watching TV. And also being out here in the fresh air allows the children to meet other children. And an activity is there available for their mental and health well-being. I am so, so happy and grateful for what HAF are providing um, for Sophia to be able to come in in the school holidays because I can't tell you how valuable it is to us. For any organisation which is looking to invest within the local community, you couldn't get a better way to do it. You get to understand the community groups, the schools, the young people, their families. You can reach lots of people in a very tangible way. Our ethos at um, Artright Collective is we value every mark made. So for me, the HALF programme is really helping us to start that at a very early age so that young people can have those aspirations to become artists, to be practising artists and to be valued within society. I would recommend that any school or organisation do this. If they can get the funding from the HAF programme, they can change children's activities, they can change children's lives in the holidays. We gave the opportunity for, for healthy breakfast, a healthy lunch. We gave them the opportunity to do activities and if anybody can offer that out to the children in those holidays, it's amazing for them to be able to do. We are excited about what we've achieved this year, but we're even more excited about what the programme's going to look like next year because we always want to improve and be offering more for our city by serving the families of our community. My favourite activity is going on walks. The ice cream man came. I like doing colouring. Colouring. When we think of the holiday club, when we get to come here and do all this, what do you think of it? It will be good. You think it's good? I want that every day. Cameron, what was the best part of Holiday Club for you? Cooking. Abby, Abby, Abby.